Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. And the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says India's skilled workforce helps the country to fight against pandemic and challenges of COVID-19 pandemic. Union Home Ministry asks states not to file cases under scraped Section 66A of the IT Act. Chetu Airport in Kohima gets no objection from Civil Aviation Ministry. And flying off any remotely piloted aircraft restricted within Dimapur Airport. As the nationwide free COVID-19 vaccination campaign at government facilities for those above 18 years is going on, we advise our young listeners to get vaccinated and also to help others to get vaccinated. We also advise our listeners not to lower their guard as COVID-19 remains a threat to our health. Please stay at home unless it is essential to go out and continue to follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800-345-0019. And now the news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today laid emphasis on skill development in the country, saying it is a national requirement and a major foundation for Atma Nirpa Parat. Addressing the youth on the occasion of World Youth Skills Day and 6th anniversary of Skill India Mission, Modi said, when a society focuses on the skills of the youth, a whole nation benefits from it. He stressed the need to give impetus to the Skill India Mission by adding full strength to the new institutions that were formed in the last six years. The Prime Minister added that the government is working on skilling, re-skilling and upskilling of the future generations. He said that this was how India can provide smart and skilled manpower solutions to the world. Modi said India's skilled workforce helped the country to fight against the pandemic and the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic have increased the importance of World Youth Skill Day. The Prime Minister also emphasised that learning should not be limited to earning and people must reskill and upskill themselves from time to time. Modi said Dr. P. R. Ambedkar had stressed the need for skilling the youth of weaker sections and today through Skilled India, the country is making full efforts to fulfil his vision. Union Home Ministry has requested states and union territories to direct all police stations under their jurisdiction not to register cases under repealed Section 66A of the Information Technology Act 2000. It has asked the states and UTs to sensitise law enforcement agencies for the compliance of the order issued by the Supreme Court on 24th March 2015. It also requested that if any case has been booked in states and UTs under Section 66A of the IT Act, such cases should be immediately withdrawn. Supreme Court in its judgment had struck down Section 66A of the Information Technology Act 2000, making the section of the Information Act null and void with effect from the date of the order. This section of the law provides the police power to arrest a person for posting offensive content online and provides for a three-year jail term. Chief Minister Nipirio today expressed gratitude to the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Union Minister Jodit Raditya M. Cynthia for the survey of Chetu Airport and conveying no objection. In a tweet, Chief Minister said the airport is aimed at fulfilling the aspiration of air connectivity to all state capitals. Rio said it will ensure fulfilment of conditions and modalities for early realization of the project. It may be mentioned that Kohima Chetu Airport is a greenfield airport having an area of over 645 acres located at Chetu, Chechama village, around 20 kilometers away from Kohima. Commissioner of Police and Chairman of Aerodrome Committee Rotiho Tetsu has restricted the flying of any remotely piloted aircraft at Dimapu Airport. In an order, Commissioner of Police stated that any remotely piloted aircraft, such as drones, unmanned aerial vehicle, will not be flown within an aerial distance of 3 kilometers from the perimeter of Dimapu Airport. Tetsuo said violation would amount to suspension or cancellation of the UIN 
or UAOP, of the RPA issued by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation. Further violators will attract punitive action under relevant sections of Indian Penal Code. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on our YouTube channel, AIR News, Kohima. Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party, NTPP, has welcomed and endorsed the July 9 Five Points Resolution adopted by the Go Committee on Naga Political Issue. In a communique, NTPP extended its appreciation to all the members of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly for the formation of the Parliamentary Committee and Co Committee on Naga Political Issue, which includes all MLAs and both MPs. The party also appreciated the central leadership for the positive meetings and interactions that took place in Delhi with Chief Minister and his colleagues from June 28 to 2nd of July. NTPP further appreciated the seriousness of the Union Home Minister on the Naga political issue, especially on the advice that he had given the Chief Minister and the Leader of Opposition to issue a joint statement. The party said these steps have contributed towards unity and understanding resulting in the institution of Parliamentary Committee and the Core Committee on Naga political issue. ISRO has successfully conducted the third long-duration hot test of the liquid propellant Vikas engine for the core L110 liquid stage of the human-rated GSLV MK3 vehicle as part of the engine qualification requirements for the Kakanyan program. The engine was fired for duration of 240 seconds at the engine test facility of ISRO propulsion complex Mahendra Giri in Tamil Nadu. The performance of the engine met the test objectives and the engine parameters were closely matching with the predictions during the entire duration of the test. Union Health Ministry today reviewed the preparations under India COVID-19 Emergency Response and Health Systems Preparedness Package Phase 2 with states and union territories through a video conference. During the review meeting, states and UTs were requested to send their expenditure proposals at the earliest to enable expeditious approval and sanctioning from the Union government. They were advised to conduct a quick cap analysis for various infrastructure components under this scheme, including their IT infrastructure readiness. It was also pointed out that any procurement of drugs for effective COVID management is an essential component of emergency COVID-19 response package too. Nagaland today recorded a spike of 132 fresh COVID-19 positive cases, taking the total caseload to 26,381. Kohima reported 72 new cases, 26 in Mogukchung, 18 in Dimapu, 7 in Kifure, 4 in Twensang, 2 each from Longling and Beren, and 1 in Woka. At the same time, 97 people have also recovered from the infection, taking the total recovered cases to 24,084. The COVID death tally remains unchanged at 502, with no death reported today. Nagalin is observing intensified diarrhea fortnight, IDCF program, from 12 to 24th of this month. IDCF is a yearly activity observed all over the country. Mission Director, National Health Mission, Dr. I. Tali Damsala Jami said, during the fortnight period, all households with children under five years of age will be provided ORS and children under five years with diarrheal cases will be provided ORS and zinc daplet for free. For further information, one may contact the nearest government hospital. And now 20 News, here are the main points again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says India's skilled workforce helps the country to fight against pandemic and challenges of COVID-19 pandemic. Union Home Ministry asks states not to file cases on the scraped section 66A of IT Act. Chetu Airport in Kohima gets no objection from Civil Aviation Ministry. And flying of any remotely piloted aircraft restricted within Dimapu Airport. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.